because hymnals typically take about 10 years to develop, we knew we couldn't wait for the church to say that they needed something. We needed to anticipate that need. So a lot of time was spent in discussion. Uh, is there still use for a hymnal in our churches today? It grew out of, I believe, shared liturgies, beliefs, creeds, confessions, and a shared uh, root of faith, uh, the Reformed faith I'm counted. I think this is one of the best reasons why this hymnal uh, was developed. It's to be able to bring these two denominations into a common language, into a shared expression, a shared experience. Uh, it's important for um, each denomination and tradition to reflect and do that about every generation. And in both the Reformed Church of America and the Christian Reformed Church in North America, um, it was time to um, step back and think about the balanced diet of song that can best serve congregations. I found that people were using so many different things. And it was just, it was time. It made sense for us to gather the best of what everybody was using and put it in one place. Hymnals have a shelf life of about 25 years, and many of our denominational hymnals were uh, put together at the end of the 1980s, early 1990s, and so we were reaching that benchmark. We feel that this hymnal will be uh, something that will draw uh, certainly the RCA and the CRC together more than they have been. Uh, as well as be a gift to many other denominations. We really did believe it was time to begin, and we were excited uh, that the Christian Reformed Church in North America and the Reformed Church in America were both uh, eager to join together on this, on this journey of developing a new hymnal for a new generation.